By supporting our channel you support legal content on YouTube. Subscribe, click the bell and leave a like. We wish you a pleasant viewing. Ninety percent of the world's terrestrial biodiversity is found in rainforests. Hot, dense and humid jungles. The most alive and vibrant places on the planet. Where a tireless, powerful machinery is lubricated by water. Where countless varieties of living beings play their part. The rainforests of the New World are endlessly surprising. An inexhaustible source of new species that live amongst the luxuriant vegetation. In and out of the dark, wet shadows, bursting rivers and giant trees, life moves tirelessly, intensely. The neotropical rainforest is a paradise whose origin can be found in the brutal storms that every day pour from the sky. Tropical rainforests are found around the equator, extending in a belt across Central Africa, Indonesia, Papua New Guinea, and the Amazon Basin. The jungles of the American tropics extend from southern Brazil to southern Mexico. In places as small as Costa Rica, they seem to be especially concentrated. To be considered a jungle, a rainforest, it must receive at least 100 millimeters of rain every month of the year, meaning that each year between 1,700 and 2,000 millimeters of rain falls per square meter of jungle. It must also conform to a very narrow temperature range, an average of between 27 and 30 degrees Celsius, without rising or falling more than 5 degrees. And there's one more condition. Humidity is always around 80%. These characteristics define both the habitat and the life of all beings that inhabit it. And they are characteristics that are very productive. The richest and most varied terrestrial life on the planet proliferates here. These conditions help produce a never-ending explosion of sounds, colors, movement and activity. If there is one thing that defines the rainforest, it's their dimensions and density. The giants of this kingdom are the trees. Wide-leaved, always green, they have shaped and formed this landscape and ultimately the life of all the living beings that inhabit it.
and water is a permanent presence, making this a very liquid ecosystem. Water is the essence, the single substance around which jungle life revolves. Rain is a constant. There are very few days in a year on which none falls, even in the form of drizzle. Violent storms are the norm. But it seems that the rain doesn't worry anyone here much, and the pace of life does not slow because of it. Spectacled caimans certainly do not postpone their breeding season, and they define their territory by moving their jaws in the water to produce sounds that warn off rivals. While they are laying claim to a stretch of river, herons know they are in no danger. This bare-throated tiger heron is looking for a meal. This species is endemic to Central America and lives in and around the water channels of the vast jungle. Its usual hunting practice is to harpoon fish, but no small aquatic creatures are safe. A crab that thought it was safe in the branches becomes part of the heron's lunch. It appears that there is a pause in the rain. Only a few drops now mm. fall from the leaves. The undergrowth of the rainforest is sparse as sunlight barely reaches the forest floor, screened by large trees. The hefty figure of a South American tapir can just be made out. These are the heaviest and bulkiest animals in the American jungle, weighing up to 300 kilos. Tapirs freely roam the forest floor, looking for leaves and fallen fruit. They have a small, sensitive and very mobile proboscis, which helps them to choose among the huge diversity of plants. Above all, it favours the tenderest leaves, which make up up to 65% of its diet. Tapirs favour territories that are near water, which in the jungle is no problem. The small northern tamandua also live near the river. With their long snout and their disproportionate claws, they might seem an extravagance even here, but everything has its explanation. Tamanduas are myrmecophagus, in other words, ant or termite eaters. They look for these insects within the wood of trees or on the jungle floor. Four powerful claws on their front paws allow them to break into tree trunks and the usually sturdy termite mounds. Their long snout houses an even longer tongue, which is sticky and therefore perfect for trapping small insects. Tamanduas ration their meal times well. Although they can capture 9,000 ants in a single day, they're careful to practice sustainable harvesting across their territory. 
they move between and feed at different termite mounds or ant colonies, breaking off only small parts of each, leaving the whole structure more or less intact. The jungle floor, where the tamandua make the most of what's on offer, receives no more than 2% of the total sunlight. So the plants that grow here are especially adapted to the lack of light. And some of these are very appealing to huge iguanas. Green iguanas can measure up to two meters in length and have a fearsome appearance. At dawn, they sunbathe on the highest branches of the jungle, always close to the river, until they reach a temperature close to 30 degrees. Only then can they move off in search of food. The impressive males are larger than the females and mark their territory by raising and shaking their chin flap and by lifting their front legs to intimidate their rivals. But this iguana is hungry and while on the ground decides to collect the ripe fruit of palms and other trees. Despite their formidable appearance, green iguanas are strictly vegetarian. These giant reptiles are very well adapted to the American rainforest. They can swim and dive in the rivers, they can run at great speed and can climb the trees thanks to their sharp claws. Now it's time to return to the top of the trees. This is where they spend a large part of their time. And it's in the treetops where the greatest biodiversity of the jungle can be found. The canopy rises to a height of nearly 50 meters and forms a continuous cover. According to some estimates, 40% of all plant species on the planet are found in the rainforests. Black-handed spider monkeys are the undisputed masters of this aerial garden. Their bodies have adapted to arboreal life in surprising ways. Despite being one of the heaviest species of monkeys in the New World at around nine kilos, they are extremely agile. One of the reasons they can move at such high speed among the branches can be found on their hands. They have a vestigial thumb, barely a stump, but the other fingers are long and strong and curve in the form of a hook. With these hands, they swing on the branches with great security and at incredible speeds. Another adaptation to life in the jungle canopy is found in their tail. It acts as an extra limb, like a very strong and versatile arm from which they can hang, freeing their hands and feet for other activities.
but other jungle inhabitants can reach the topmost points even more easily. Rising above the canopy, emergent trees grow taller than their neighbors. This is the preferred territory of the Montezuma oropendola. Montezuma oropendola live only in the rainforests of Central America. These colorful birds with a distinctive song build their colonies in the branches of the tallest, most isolated trees. It's an excellent security measure. Removed from the bustling jungle life below, the colony goes about its chores, nest building or feeding the chicks under the watchful eye of the males. The males monitor the skies for the presence of predators and to drive off parasite species. Now and then they will sing, hanging upside down from a branch or nest, opening their wings and displaying their impressive bright yellow tail from which they get their name. To replace the energy they have spent in display, they will fly to nearby trees to feed on a great variety of fruits and also on insects and nectar. And food has another purpose. It serves as a gift with which to conquer the heart of a prospective partner. Spider monkeys mainly feed on the pulp of fruit, preferably fleshy and ripe, so they require large areas of the forest to find their sustenance. They will often cross two kilometers of jungle in a day in search of fruit. A diet of fruit means they need to identify and memorize many types of food and their locations. These learning and memory abilities put spider monkeys, according to some scientists, in third place in terms of intelligence among non-human primates, just below orangutans and chimpanzees. Spider monkeys live under what is both a constant threat and a blessing, the tropical storms. The inhabitants of the rainforests are adapted to torrential storms and to more clement but longer rains. And so life moves on apace. Different spider species build their delicate webs despite the raindrops. Mantled howler monkeys look for fruit among the mombin trees. The wet branches pose no risk to them when moving about. And on the jungle floor, thrushes scurry among the fallen fruit, which attracts insects. When the rains stop, the spiders have to dry their legs and feet before repairing their webs.
the storm has claimed a few victims. But there are always those who know how to take advantage of the misfortune of others, such as ants. The rains nourish the abundant rivers, streams and channels, and may, depending on their intensity and the time of year, swell, burst and flood large areas of the forest. The water currents mix with the jungle itself. Some species, such as the howler monkeys, are vitally important in the dispersal and propagation of many plant species. Some fruit floats down river and is thus dispersed by the water unless it has been spotted by hungry eyes. Other fruit falls on the ground, and bees, feared by everyone, can eat to their heart's content. No one will dare disturb them. The river basins formed by these neotropical forests are some of the most voluminous in terms of water displacement on the planet. Basilisks are large lizards that live on the shores of Central American tropical rivers. They're agile and fast and rely on camouflage to escape detection. Like crab-eating raccoons, with whom they share part of their territory, basilisks need to be near water, and they would be on the raccoon's menu if they weren't so fast and slippery. Crab-eating raccoons are inherently linked to the near-tropical rainforests where they seek out wet and swampy land. But beyond their aquatic tastes, they're excellent climbers, allowing them to feed on fruit and insects as well. Their favorite meal, however, is always crabs and shrimp. Raccoons are extremely dexterous. Once they have disarmed their prey by breaking its claws, they can handle the crab easily, washing it repeatedly. It's thought that the custom of washing its food is related to the raccoon's sense of touch. By touching it, the raccoon ensures that it's suitable for consumption, free from the danger of thorns, spines, and other unpleasant surprises. The environmental conditions of the rainforest make it a paradise for insects. In reality, these are the real rulers of the jungle kingdom. More than 6,000 different species of insects have been found living in a single hectare of Central American jungle. But when the dark falls, it's the time of the frogs.
The combination of rain and heat is responsible for maintaining moisture and humidity at very high levels. This permanent humidity is what allows frogs to occupy very disparate environments within the jungle, and even to move away from the water to lay their eggs. So close to permanent ponds, on the leaves of vegetation, the spawn of various species are deposited. The hourglass tree frog is the only vertebrate in the world known to lay its eggs both on land and in water, depending on climatic conditions. Wherever it lays them, it hopes to prevent them being eaten by aquatic predators. But danger is always lurking. Various species of snakes specialize in finding the eggs of amphibians, and they look for them everywhere. When they find recently deposited and nutritious spawn, they will consume as many of the sticky, awkward eggs as they can. But even with considerable effort, some will still escape being eaten. A few tadpoles may yet emerge from this spawn. Snakes and frogs close the circle of life which is bound together by water and which reveals the complexity and richness of the rainforests of the New World. Around 50% of the tropical rainforests of the planet are found in the Americas. From the south of Mexico to the south of Brazil, one of the richest and least explored forests flourishes. Though they cover less than 6% of the terrestrial surface of the Earth, scientists estimate that more than half of the species of plants and animals on the planet, many still unknown, live here in the tropical rainforests. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a like and comment. Support legal content on YouTube.